right, guys, I'm in Kroger now. This, I don't think I've opened the vlog today. It is December 26th of 2020, and I'm here with another, the last edition of Vlogmas of me Christmas clearance shopping. We're starting at Kroger because I'm here doing my in-store deals video, and they have more stuff marked down than I even expected. So let me show you guys what I got so far. I got this 10-piece shopping cart for um, my cousin's um, twins. So next year, they'll be almost two. So they definitely can play with this, I think. Um, they have these holiday Kleenexes. I can't even believe this. These are marked down to 89 cents. If I can get it the right side up. Voila. 89 cents. There's a 50 cent digital coupon making these 39 cents. And I'm going to grab the money making um, Tums and Chapstick. And that's going to kind of pay for my Kleenex because I'm not leaving here without 39 cent Kleenex. Um, yes. Super, super excited. I'm also going to grab one of the multi meal cereals. Those are a great deal too. Um, money maker. I'm just going to keep perusing for Christmas clearance. They're, they're getting pretty white though because they're really focusing on getting stuff up for Valentine's Day. Guess what guys? That Kleenex coupon is a 5x digital coupon which means you guys can use it five times in a single transaction. I'm like so excited. I can't believe this is happening. So I'm definitely going to grab 10 boxes of Kleenex because 39 cents you can't go wrong. Walmart is pretty crazy compared to Kroger. There's a lot of people here. It's only 50% off, but of course there's still some good stuff. So um, I'm gonna get two of these little sock gift sets. These are 250. Those are good for next year. I got this little um, gift set for 750. And then I got this blanket gift set for 10. So really, really, really awesome prices for these things. All right, so at the mall, and this has been a bust. I mean, I did get jeans. I had a, told you guys I got a gift card, and I need new jeans, so I got that. But I've not found Christmas clearance here at all, hardly. It's just just not very much. The main thing I was coming for was the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale, so I could get gifts for next year, but the line is wrapped clear around a part of the mall, and I'm, just, I'm not going to stand here and wait for an hour to get some discounted lotion and stuff. It's just not worth it to me. I... So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe it'll be less busy on a weekday. <sighs> Too much. All right, y'all. Here is my little haul. Believe it or not, I know this looks like a lot of stuff, but there's other years I've got a lot more. But I'm super happy with it because I stuck to my budget. I'm like $3 under budget, which is great. I got a little couponing deal here from... Kroger and Walmart and Sam's Club and then I also got a bunch of Christmas little clearance things and I also put in a Bath and Body Works order online. I told you guys I was at the mall that the line was like ridiculously busy and I was not in the mood to wait there for no I don't even know. I think there was only allowing like six people in the store at a time and if that really was what it was going to be and the line was that long I was not in the mood to sit and wait there to get Christmas gifts for next year. So um, went on bathandbodyworks.com, bought all my items there. It was $5.99 shipping, but my mom was buying stuff too, so we just paid together and we split the shipping cost or whatever. And so for me, it only cost $2.99 to ship it, and that was just more worth it for me than sitting in line at the Bath and Body Works because one, it's not very safe truly to wait there. And a lot of people, like we can't all go in the store together and separate and get our items. We can wait in a line together for an hour. With people like ripping their masks off and just like not really distancing. And so what's the point of that? I would love to ask the Bath and Body Works corporate, what is the point of that? But whatever, <laughs> whatever. So I just ordered online and it worked out a lot better for me. But I did go out to the store for everything else. This is Kroger. A lot of stuff from Kroger. A lot. Kroger was great. This is Walmart, 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 Sam's Club. And that's it. Um, everything else is online. I'll show you guys what I bought online too once we get through this. So Kroger was amazing. I put together this little couponing scenario at Kroger on the Kleenexes. Okay, so the Kleenex. These were 89 cents on clearance. And there is a 50 cent 5x digital coupon. I thought I grabbed 10 boxes, but I only grabbed 9. Um, so that made up 39 cents each. And I was like, okay, that's an awesome price. But let's find some overage makers to, um, to get this for less. So I grabbed the Tums. $2.29 and Shopkick has $3.20 back. And the Chapstick is $1.29 with $3.20 back. So that was some nice overage. Um, the Simply Almond Milk was $3.99. Had a $3.99 on the bottom, making it free. And the Frosted Mini Spooners were, how much were these? $3.49 with the $4 Shopkicks. In the end, Kroger was like $0.69, cents, which was definitely winning. 
Um, and I'll tell you guys how I did some couponing at Walmart and uh, how much everything here, this and that and this and that all cost. We'll tell you that in a minute. At Kroger also, I grabbed this 10-piece um, shopping cart set. Um, this was six bucks. And I think this is really a great gift. This is for my cousin's um, twins. Um babies so next year they'll be almost two at this point so this is for next christmas but of course i'm gonna get it now when it's six bucks and i think it's just a really great gift um and then my other cousin is expecting now so um and that baby will be here by next christmas it'll be a few months at christmas so i grabbed these baby einstein little books this was five bucks for this whole set and I had $3.50 Kroger cash back loaded on my card. I didn't even realize. So that made it even cheaper out of pocket. I mean, obviously, this was really five bucks. But the Kroger cash back, that was nice. Um, so Kroger was amazing. Walmart. Walmart, I got more previous years. But what I got at Walmart, I was really proud with. And I'm kind of glad because I stuck with my budget between Bath and Body Works, Kroger, and Walmart. I just really stuck with my budget, which makes me happy. So I'd rather not go into debt. For Christmas. I mean, I could have swung it, but I'd rather just stick with my planning for how much I was going to spend today, which I had a strict 75, I don't know, $78 what was left in my sinking funds. And I did have $25 Fetch Rewards gift card to um, Walmart that I used. And yeah. And then I used my PayPal debit card for this little couponing scenario I'll tell you guys about. Okay. So at Walmart, first up, I grabbed these Merry Christmas bags, um, tote bags. I grabbed six of them. These were $2.40 and something cent, and I got these because I uh, showed you guys those Dollar Tree stockpile baskets. Everyone had a really, they, of course they loved their baskets, but those are really hard to tote around. And I just think these would be better. They're bigger, they're better quality. So I, I was wanting, I've always wanted to get a nicer thing to keep the stockpile baskets in, but I just, I don't know. But I went ahead and sprung for this at $2.47 each, which worked out great. Um, I grabbed two of these Body Ecology sock sets these were um 249 each really a nice gift a pair of socks and perfume and stuff that's a great gift i got this comfy blanket set for 10 bucks it was like 9.88 or something i grabbed this big set it has a little bag um i think my grandma will like this next year some like lotion and body wash and um, perfume and a soap this was seven something seven like 50 really a great deal my mom got this wrapping paper, so this is not included in my budget, but they were 47 cents each. I thought I'd show them to you. Really, really nice. Really nice. Um, I grabbed some gift boxes. These were like $1.50. And then this was so perfect at Walmart. So I got in the little cart at Kroger. I wasn't even looking for this. We were leaving Walmart, and I see this. This LeapFrog um, Count Along Cash Register Deluxe. It comes with a cash register and fake, like, pretend money. And a legit cash register. That is so cool. Um, I wish it had a place for a coupon button, but um, no, it doesn't. It comes with a little bag, a basket. Perfect for this. Like, it's going to go along perfect with that. And I was like, and this box is kind of beat up, um, but nothing I can't just slap some tape on and get back together. And I was like, well, there's no way that's on sale. I was like, well, let's just scan it. Just scan it. Nine dollars for a leapfrog toy and it was regularly 25 and i was like oh my gosh i'm not gonna leave walmart without that that was insane right there nine dollars and it couldn't have like that is so awesome that it goes perfectly with this cart i was so excited so i'm um, all that stuff this 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 these and these and the boxes was all or were all in their own transaction I used my $25 fetch rewards gift card which was basically free money from you guys signing up for referrals so that really helps me guys, or helps me out. Sorry, I can't talk. When you guys do that, that helped me out tremendously. So I paid 28 bucks for all this stuff. And I'm really happy with that when that LeapFrog toy is worth 25. And then to add up to the couponing, okay. Ashanta Coupons told me about this deal on the Dollar Shave Club Razor. This was on clearance for $4.98. I had a $4 shop kick. Was it $4? Yeah. $4 shop kick and a $2 I bought it. So I made it a dollar or two money maker. And then I grabbed this Find Your Happy Place product. So these candles were like $4. Uh, what were they? $4.97. I had a $1.88 shop kick. So I basically got a set. This lotion was a $1.98. There was a $1.88 shop kick. Made it $0.10. Cent. And then the hand soap. This sucks, actually. This was $3.48. Um, I had a dollar eighty-eight shop cake, which is still okay. Um, for a gift set, like this as a gift set for somebody is a great, great gift. 
And then I also went to Sam's Club and grabbed this International Delight Cream. We were just going there anyway. We needed a few things. I needed um, some allergy medicine. So I think that's the cheapest place to get it that I've seen. So I grabbed this while I was there. It's $4.48 and there is um, how much? $6 on Shopkick. So a really sweet money maker. So all, so all the nine Kleenex, the almond milk, these things, the mini spooners, these little gifts. Actually, I'll probably go this to my dad now. But this is a gift for next year. And this creamer. That all came to $4.27. <laughs> I can take that for all this stuff. I'm really, really, really happy with that, especially for all the Kleenex. So now I'm going to flip you guys over to my computer screen and show you the Bath & Body Works, what we got online, or what I got online at Bath & Body Works. All right, guys, so let me show you what I got at Bath & Body Works. So I got my cousin um, and her husband two Bath & Body Works candles. They love Bath & Body Works, so I thought it'd be a good joint gift or whatever. I got one of these caramel drizzle ones, and then I also got, I've seen Running Kimono talk about this so many times. I was like, this is probably a really awesome candle. It's a French baguette. They're on sale for $11.95. And now with all this stuff, I had a 20% off coupon for the whole store. 20% off, which is awesome. And then Honey, which I love Honey. Look at right there. It's the browser extension. I love, love Honey. Um, it brought up, so they didn't have, I already used my coupon. And then Honey has this thing, and it's done it for me two times now with online shopping, that you can purchase a gift card through Honey. So I got $122 and some change. That's what our total came to, because like I said, my mom did it with me too. She bought some stuff. Um, gift card. For $114. So literally I paid $114 something dollars to get a $122 something dollar gift card. So that was another like seven or eight dollars worth of savings, which was amazing. Uh honey is amazing. I can't say enough about honey. Okay, so I got them the two, two, those two candles, and then I got my grandma four of these little sprays, um, perfume sprays. I like to get her Bath and Body Works spray. I got her some already, as you saw in those gift sets, but she likes Bath and Body Works. So I got her one of these lemon drop, um, oh, I didn't know it was lemon drop martini, but uh, okay, we don't drink, so I probably wouldn't have got that if I read it, but uh, all right. Um, winter candy apple and two of the twisted peppermint. So that was good. And that's what I got at Bath and Body Works. All right, guys, so I got the packages. Finally, I got the cards and the package up at the post office. There's been such delays in the postal service We've not been able to get stuff, but I finally got some. I got three cards and I got a package. So this first one is from Michelle. And she told me a while ago she sent me this and it never came. So I'm really glad it's here. All right. Let's see what is in here. Oh, that's nice. Well, a lot of coupons. All right. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Thank you to one of my favorite YouTubers. Love, Michelle. Oh, thank you so much, Michelle. That is so nice. Oh, I didn't see this coupon in my inserts. Very nice. I'll have to look through all of these and see what I can put to use with them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Michelle. Okay. There's another card. I like to do the cards before the packages. Okay, this one is from Saving with Danny. Is it Danny? Yeah, Saving with Danny. Okay, it's a little Christmas tree, and it says, Hope you and your family have a safe and happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Saving with Danny. Thank you so, so much, Danny, for that. All right, this card is from Alta. So I can get it open. Okay, it says, Sweet Tidings. Oh, Alta, that is so sweet. She sent me a $10 gift card to Subway. I love Subway. So I'm definitely going to use that. Thank you, Alta. I really appreciate it. It says, thank you for all you do. Really enjoyed the Christmas vlog. So glad you are well and your family is safe. Give the kitties a hug for me. May the good Lord bless you and keep you and your family safe and healthy in the upcoming year. Um, she also put this scripture. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and ramparts. Psalms 91 for NIV. 
And then she also wrote Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year, Alta. Thank you so much, Alta. That was so sweet of you. You totally didn't have to send them um gift card, but I really appreciate that. All right, and then I have a package. So let's open that, if I can get it open. There's a lot of tape on this. I might have to go get some scissors. Hold on. All right, so the package is from Mike and Ken. Let me open it. Oh, there's several little things in here. Okay. <laughs> to old Saint Nick. I love that. Get to see my horrible wrapping. So oh my gosh. Ah, oh, there's a Godiva chocolate and an old navy gift card for 25 bucks oh my gosh oh thank you guys that is so nice that is so so nice that was not expecting that at all wow well to elliot married treatments from ping pong and tracy that's their cats oh they'll love that Organic catnap. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, I love this. It's a 2020 Christmas ornament. Oh, that is awesome. I love that. Survive the TP shortage. Curbside pickup. What's your tip? What day is it? Oh, I love that. That is so cool. You guys did an awesome job on this. Wow. Let's see, I have a card. Okay. Merry Christmas. It's got a dog pulling sleigh. Nick, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay well and be safe. Hugs, Mike and Ken. Thank you guys. That is so, so nice. And then. There is this little goodie bag with, oh, you told me about this, um, organic candy corn. I said I didn't even know that was a thing, so you sent it to me to try. Let me get this open, too. All right, yes. You sent me some lollipops. Some organic candy corn. Oh, that's awesome. I love candy corn. Thank you, guys. I'll have to try this and see if it tastes like this. Um, candy corn I usually get. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who sent a card. Thank you to Mike and Ken for the nice package. Really appreciate it. Um, I love ever genuinely. I love all that stuff. That is so nice. So, so yeah, guys, this is the final Vlogmas edition. Kind of bittersweet. I'm kind of sad because I've really enjoyed making these and I know a lot of you guys have really enjoyed watching them, but, um, as anticipated, this is the last day of the Vlogmas edition. Truly, my life is going to be, it's it's going to be busy because I got, I'm heading into my next um, class for school, not next week, but the week after. And then also, um, we're going to go back to full-time couponing here on Ohio Valley Couponer again. The schedule's been kind of out of whack because of Christmas and the sales have been kind of different and stuff. But we're going back to 100% all couponing on Ohio Valley Couponer. I'm making a couple changes in 2021 um, with my video schedule and everything. And I'm really excited for 2021. Like, new year, new start. I cannot wait. Please, 2021, be so much better than 2020. That's why I'm so glad I vlogged this Christmas, though. Because this was a crazy Christmas season. And I have it all here on camera. So I have the 10 day quarantine here on camera. Yeah, that was legit. And you guys got to follow me along with that. I got going out Christmas shopping on camera. Like I was, this is the best year of Vlogmas I think I've done because I used to be a little scared to film in the stores and stuff. And I've gotten more used to it. And I've just got a lot more stuff recorded and just documented this year. And I love that. That's why I love the Vlogmas um, editions. And I'm so glad this is my third Third go around with Vlogmas. So having three years of Decembers on camera is just awesome. So 2021, I'm going to quickly tell you guys, you're probably like, I've watched your daily vlogs all December. What do I expect now? So here's how the new schedule is going to play out. Monday, Walmart deals video. Tuesday is a haul video. 
Wednesday is the Kroger Deals video. I'm taking Thursday off. That's my 2021 New Year's resolution. I want two days off, and so I'm going to not have a video scheduled for Thursday. And I'm actually a day behind on most of my videos, so or a day ahead. So I like will film the haul on Thursday and have Friday off, which is awesome. Friday is the haul video. Um, Saturday is off again. And then Sunday is the Kroger ad preview. So there's five days, five days worth of videos. 100% couponing. Won't say. Maybe there'll be a vlog somewhere in there. Um, it's not, not going to be daily or anything like that. I just don't have enough. <laughs> My life's not going to be super interesting after Christmas. That was expected. Um, but maybe I'll do a shop with me or something like that. Um, if I feel like it. If there's something good to report, I'll do a vlog maybe. I am so excited for 2021. It's got to be a better year than 2020, I hope. Um, as I told you guys, I'm planning on taking my business here to the next level, and I'm so excited for that and can't wait to share more of that in the future. I'm still planning all that out. I want exactly what I want to do, but um, I want to do everything I can to make this the most successful it can be, and it's already going in that direction, but I want to keep finding more ways to make this successful, and we're going to definitely... Um, be doing that in 2021. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited for the new year. It's going to be great. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so, so much for watching.